two integrals on the spot. The first one, integral one over square root of x squared minus one. Any other one, we have this extra x down below in the denominator as well. <laughs> you see, I didn't put this x in the numerator. Otherwise, that would be too easy, right? Anyways, pause the video and do the easier one first. Okay, as you guys know, I want to tell you guys that when we are doing integrals, sometimes the more the better. That's once again true in this case. So I would like to work this out for you guys. I still have my point on to make. In fact, we can do this, right? With two different methods. But I want to show you guys the same method for both of them first. Okay? As we can see, we have the x squared minus 1 in the square root. That's what makes this pretty hard, right? Even though you can actually do this with u sub. But that's not doable with this. u sub doesn't help. Therefore, let's think about what we can do. When we have x squared minus 1, we have only two terms. In the square root, that doesn't really do us any good, right? The idea is that we want to somehow complete the square. It's not even possible. We only have two terms. It's not possible in the x world. It is in the other world called the theta world. Okay? And let me write it down of what I'm talking about. You see right here, we only have two terms. Something squared minus something else. Especially this is just a minus 1. What we know is that we have the identity secant squared theta minus 1, this will give us what? This give us tangent square theta. And you see, we have two terms right here. This can be reduced to just one term, and that's tangent square theta, and this is a perfect square. And if we put this back to the square root, square root and square cancel each other out. That's very nice, right? So you guys all know this. This is the trick substitution. Um, anyways, without further ado, let me just get to work. I'm going to let x equals to secant theta, and you see, I will be able to match this form right here. And now, I'm going to look at this equation and differentiate both sides. dx is going to be the derivative of this, which is secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. And we are ready to bring this integral into the theta world. And we see this is going to be the integral of 1 on the top over this x is the same as secant theta. So we put that down right here. And then we have the square root x is once again secant theta, but that's the second power, so we have secant squared theta and then minus 1. The dx is the secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. And now we can fix this square root because this is the same as that. So all together right here, we are talking about the square root of tangent squared theta, isn't it? And now, you see we have the square root and the square. For integration purpose, we're just going to cancel the square and the square root out without putting down the absolute value, okay? And I will do another uh, video on how to integrate the um, absolute value. But this is okay for integration purpose. And let's see what do we have next. You see, I'm going to just put this down right here for you guys. We have this secant theta here. But then we have this secant theta here, they cancel each other out. And this is just tangent theta, isn't it? In the denominator. So this and this tangent theta will also cancel each other out, right? And this is extremely nice because we're just integrating one. But then you have to be careful. We are in the theta world. And what's the integral of one in the theta world? This is just going to be theta, okay? We are not done yet because we have to take this back to the x world. So let's refer back to what we have right here. We know x is equal to secant theta. This means, and because I don't have theta, there's no other trick functions that I'm playing around with. Therefore, I'm just going to look at this and take the inverse of secant on both sides. This is the same as saying theta is secant, well, the inverse secant of x, like this. And then we are done. So, this is the same as that, inverse secant x, and we put down a plus c at the end, this is the inverse, so, yeah, that's it. You can write this down as arc secant x. Watch till the end, I will show you guys another way. And now let's do this. We are going to first let x equal to secant theta, and then of course dx is going to be secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. I just want to be formal, that's why I write down everything again. And we'll take this integral into the theta world. But this time, we will get integral x. And then plus tangent theta to 